Hello everybody and welcome back to Dome Life. Today I want to give you a tour of our camp kitchen. I love to cook if you're familiar with our channel, so I have a lot of things to cook with. If you're looking for more of a smaller weekend camping cook setup, I have two more of those videos. We'll list them in the description below, but I wanna update you with all of my new cookware and cooking devices. So I thought, let me give you an update on my kitchen. The big item that I have in my kitchen is this Camp Chef 2x this is a two burner propane stove it has 20,000 BTUs per burner probably had it for about a month now but it works amazing I love this stove I would never I don't think I'll go anywhere else I love this stove I'm kind of just glued to it propane that we use to uh, run the stove we have two 20 pound propane bottles here living on the road full-time it is it's really wonderful to have two propanes because you never know when you're gonna run out. You could run out and you're stuck out in the middle of the woods for a couple of days. We always have a backup. So that's really nice. The next big item I used to cook with is my 12 inch Lodge cast iron Dutch oven. So about 80% of the time, I like to do my cooking on my stove top, but then the other percentage I like to cook on the fire. So I like to use this Dutch oven here which is brand new by the way i have a new one it's deep so you can cook chilies stews i like to cook my pizzas this is what we love this for is for pizzas and we also have this nice little lid lifter which is necessary when you're cooking on a hot fire very necessary the next big cooking item i have is my afghan pressure cooker now i'm not really sure how big this pressure cooker is quart wise i want to say it's it's over six quarts that's for sure but it's pretty deep on the inside i've cooked with this pressure cooker many of times this is from mingrills.com so if you're interested in this item i can list it in the description below you can click on the link and you'll find a way to purchase it there but not only can you cook on the fire with this you can cook on your stove so it easily fits even on this camp chef it fits on these burners if you wanted to cook on it that way now important is water so when you're cooking whether you're washing dishes or you're boiling a pot of water for pasta you need water so we carry a seven gallon jug that has fresh potable water in it so we use this to fill up our pots and pans with water or to wash dishes with. Also being on the road full time, it is great to have our No Boundaries trailer because it has a 30 gallon water tank. So you can connect your spray port here and you can wash dishes that way as well. Or you can fill your uh, pots and pans up that way. You know, we never know when we're gonna be able to fill up on water. So that's why we uh, carry the extra seven gallon can with us. Since we're talking about the trailer, let's get into my favorite part. This is my butcher block. So if you're familiar with any of our old videos or the, the No Boundaries Force River trailers, you know that they come with a two burner stove. Well, the burners only put out 6,000 BTU, so we never used it. We have always had an extra stove. So we took the stove off and we put down this butcher block, which is great for when I wanna cut up my vegetables, I wanna roll out my dough. This is perfect. I don't know how I ever lived without it. Next we have our Dometic refrigerator. So this is, it's not dual. It can either be a freezer or a refrigerator. Right now it is just a refrigerator. So we even keep some frozen things in here at the very bottom because I keep mine at 32 degrees. So any light things like lettuce, I keep on top here because it doesn't get as cold on top. Underneath my butcher block, I have a lot of storage down here. This is where I like to put a collection of things. I store my paper towels under there. Our cutting boards, which you can pick this cutting board up at domelife.camp. I always keep a lighter, even though this self ignites, I just keep this for campfires really, or when I light incense. I have two storage tubs that I keep down here. This is going to be all of my cooking utensils. So the first one has my basic utensils that I use to cut, stir, my favorite, chef's knife right here this is a damascus steel knife love it it works so well if you're interested in picking one of these up you can go to cascadia cutlery i like to use a lot of wooden spoons and spatulas 
and on the lower tub is stuff I don't use as often. I've got a rolling pin. This is a potato masher. And you know, little odds and ends, stuff I don't use all the time, I'm gonna keep down here. This little cubby down here is really deep so I can store my parchment paper, some Ziploc bags, and there's still plenty of room for me to put both of these tubs here with space in the front for my lighter and my cutting board. Paper towels, I just shove on top. This all right here just works and flows really well when I'm cooking. The next part of the trailer is going to be, I'm not gonna call this really my pantry. It is part of my pantry, but it's more my spice rack. We like to store all of our teas. I've got trash bags, more Ziploc bags. This row here is basically, is my spice rack. So that comes really handy. I love my whole setup because I'm here cooking. If I need something, I can just grab it and put it back up, chop over here, really great. Second part of my pantry, well, this is what I call my pantry. It is just a large storage tub that I keep right here at this door. So it's easy access for me to just lift the lid, prop it on my bike. And we have all of our food down here, our oil, salt and pepper, coffee, pastas, bread, bananas, anything like that I keep here in this pantry. So it all just flows really nicely whenever I'm trying to cook, pretty awesome. Now let's get into my dishes. In this large storage tub is where we keep our cookware and our dishes. I have a Tupperware tub that just stores all of our silverware. I have my oven mitts, a tea kettle. We have extra cups, four bowls and four plates, a strainer, and I'm gonna go ahead and just get out all my skillets so I can show you. So I have three skillets. These two are regular cast iron and this is a light cast iron. This is my newest pan. There's a couple of things that I really can't make in my regular cast iron like crepes. I haven't been able to make those yet so I'm really excited about making crepes with this. And then I have this one. I'm not really sure exactly how you what you call it but it's pretty flat so I can do my pancakes, french toast. I do that in there. And then we just have your traditional cast iron skillet that you can pretty much cook anything in, any kind of meats. I even cook my sauces in here. Uh, from now on, I'm probably gonna use this one to cook any sauces, but um, this one's worked out for years just fine. Since it is full cast iron, I always get these little bad boys to put on the ends here so I don't burn my hand. Like I said, we have four plates. Measuring cup, of course. Some other set of drinkware. So we do have these two cups. If it's really cold outside, we'll drink our coffee out of these. Or if we have like wine or a cocktail, we'll drink out of that. We also have our regular tin camping coffee mugs. I also have a large pot. So this is anything I would cook soups or stews, chilies, and then I have a lid that goes with it. I've actually had this pot since our wedding anniversary. So it's, it's about, 12 years old, 10, 11, 12 years old. And I have a smaller pot, which doubles as my mixing bowl. Anytime I wanna mix anything up, I use this bowl, but it has a lid that goes with it as well. So this is the pot I usually cook my rice in. I have a cheese grater. You know, I love cheese. Whenever I cook, you see me use a lot of cheese. I also use this to cut in my butter in any pastry uh, dishes I make. A very important item on our list is these Coleman Camp Oven. Now I use this thing a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I know we have the Dutch oven so we can cook over the fire with the Dutch oven, but sometimes you are in a region where you can't have a fire or maybe there's no firewood or you haven't bought firewood. So this works out really handy. I've baked biscuits, I've done cinnamon rolls, cast, little casseroles in my pan. So this is the pan that I use. It is a nine by nine. So pretty much anything you bake in a regular oven, you can bake in this bad boy and it does tell you what the temperature is. So to operate this device, you set it on top of your stove. So you can see under here where the flame comes up and it heats the oven up. And then you have the dial here that tells you what your temperature is on the inside. Uh, I really don't have much of a problem with it holding in heat. I've had had an issue where it got hot way too fast, so then I had to let it cool down before I put my food in there. Um, all in all, I'm extremely happy with this um, oven. It works great. In the morning, we love coffee, so we use the Brew Trek 
French press, which works really nicely. And then to ground up our fresh beans, we use the Vessel coffee grinder. So it works really well. well. Also put the link in below for both of these items if you are interested in them. So if you watch our videos, you know that we cook a lot of food. And so a lot of you ask, what do we do with our leftovers? We have two Tupperware tubs. So one for me, one for him. If we have left, if we have leftovers, because we do usually eat all of it, we'll put them in here, put them in our refrigerator and have them the next night or for lunch for a snack the next day. So no food goes to waste around here. And I think that's pretty much it. So it seems like it's a lot of stuff, but when you live on the road full time, uh, like me, I love cooking. So I wanted to continue to cook like I did at home, out on the road, traveling. Uh, we can have fully cooked meals and they're delicious. I hope that you enjoy this tour of my camp kitchen. So do not forget also to watch our Thursday night vlogs, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We camp on those vlogs and you can actually see me cook in person. But we hope to see you out there. Catch you on the other.